Okay, welcome back to our class for our midterm week module number 4. So, our topic is DC shunt generators. So, in DC shunt generators, the field windings are connected across the armature windings. So, we have here our equivalent circuit diagram for DC shunt generators. So, giingon na atay armature winding. So, we have here our RA. So, we have also our RSH or the shunt field resistance. So, connected in parallel. And we have also sa atong RSH na ay current nga shunt field gadagan. So, we have here ISH, RSH. So, sa RA na po ay armature current. And we have also, nakaparallel kaning RL, atong load resistance, and naapod siya load current, and our VL. So, take note, in our rule of thumb, so if not specified, flux in a shunt generator is assumed constant. So, for formula solving for our armature current, we have here, IA is equal to IL plus ISH or our shunt field current. And to solve for our shunt field current, so VL divided by our shunt field resistance. And for our voltage, so our terminal voltage plus IA and RA. So take note for our formula for DC shunt generator. So, let's have an example. So, a shunt generator delivers 50 current to a load at 110 volts at an efficiency of 85%. The total constant losses are 480 watts and the shunt field resistance is 65 ohms. Calculate the armature resistance. So, sa tong problem na siya gihatag, Nga given. So, we have our So, our IL is 50 ampere. So, we have here. And our VL is 110 volts. And we have our given sa tuang problem na siya efficiency daw so efficiency is 85% and the total constant losses are 480 watts so our P3 is 480 watts and the shunt field resistance is 65 ohms. So, our RSH is 65 ohms. So, we need to calculate for our armature resistance. So, therefore, our unknown will be our RA. So, giingon man no, na DC shunt generator sa tong problem. So, therefore, if I follow na to tong equivalent circuit diagram for DC shunt. So, na given nga IA, IRSH nga 65 ohms. IL na to is 50 amperes. Our VL is 110. So, to solve for our RA, we need to solve first our load power. So, itong PL. So, formula is VL multiply sa ito ang IL. Since DC man, no? So, direct VL multiply sa itong current. So, our VL is 110. And our IL is 50. So, our load power or PL will be 5,500 watts. So, after na to ma-solve sa itong PL, we can solve for our 
input power. So, input power is equal to our load power divided by sa tuang efficiency nga given. So, our PL is 5,500 divided by efficiency 85%. So, we have 0 0.85. So, our power input will be, so calculator, 6,470.588 watts. So, na naman tayo input. So, we need to solve for our shunt field current or ISH. So, formula on sa to, VL over RSH. So, given mantanan, no? So, 110 divided by RSH na to is 65 ohms. So, our shunt field current will be pilaman 1.69 ampere. So, na natay ISH or our shunt field current. So, solving for IA. So, IA formula. IA is equal to dara sa tong problem, ay sa to ang decision generator IL plus ISH so IA, solving for IA we have IL na to pila 50 plus ISH 1.69 so our IA will be 51.69 ampere so, we can solve now for our RA or our armature resistance nga unknown. So, RA. So, formula. So, for our P losses is equal to IA squared. Apply sa tong RA plus ISH squared RSH plus our P stray or our total constant losses. So, substitute. So, sa tong losses na siya ay natay power input na 6,470.588 minus sa ito ang power load or load power nga 5,500 so substitute ang give, given na to IA na namatay IA no so we have 51.69 squared RA atong unknown plus ISH na to is 1.69 squared and our RSH is 65 ohms and our P stray is 480 watts so, to solve for our RA, so RA is equal to, so 6,470 minus 5,500. So, transpose na to ng 1.69 squared times 65. So, transpose, so negative 480. So, divided by 51.69 squared. So, our RA will be, so calculator, our answer will be 0 0.114 ohm. So, our armature current for DC shunt generator will be 0 0.0114 ohm. So, take note ta sa itong mga formula nga gigamit. So, magbalik-balik rin na sila, no? So, proceed da for another topic. We have DC series generator. So, ganina shunt man to, no? So, karon we have series generators. So, the field windings are connected in series with our armature windings. So, naka-series ta. So, we have here our armature, RA, armature resistance, na I armature current and field windings na connect in series dapat so for our solving for our 
E or our voltage. So, E is equal to our load voltage or terminal voltage plus IA. Sa itong IA. Multiply sa itong RA plus RSA. Nga nung plus man ma'am? Since naka series. So, in DC series generator, our IA is also equal sa tuang IL. Since series man, no? So, natay resistance of the series field windings or RSA. So, in DC series generator, our rule of thumb, so, if it's not specified in a series generator, the flux is proportional to the armature current. So, let's have our example for DC series. So, a series generator delivers a current of 100 ampere at 250 volts. Its, arm, its armature and series field resistance are 0 0.1 ohms and 0 0.05 ohms. So, determine the generated EMF. So, first, we need to write our given Sa itong problem, naghatag siya og our armature current. We have 100 ampere. Our VL is 250 volts. And our RA 0 0.1 ohms. And our RSE or our Resistance of the series field windings, we have 0 0.05 ohms. So, our unknown will be the generated EMF or our E. So, nasulat na na tong given. So, we can now solve or analyze our problem. So, giingon man, series generator. So, therefore, our equivalent circuit diagram must be same in Series generator. So, na siya'y given ng RA and our RSE and IL and VL. So, sa series generator, di ba? IA is also equal sa tuang IL. So, to solve for our generated EMF, so formula lang. So, E is equal to VL plus IA. RA plus RSE. So, given man tanan data, substitute lang. So, 250 plus 100. RA na to, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05. So, our generated EMF will be 265 volts. So, this will be our Final answer for our series generator problem. So next, we have also a DC long shunt compound generator. So, ang summoning DC long shunt compound generator. So, this generator is a combination of our shunt and series generator. So, katong nauna na to na topic. So, combination din ni siya. So, the series field winding is connected in series with the armature winding. So, atong shunt formula naka-parallel while ang atong series is naka-series siya sa atuang armature winding. So, we have here our equivalent diagram. So, our IA, IA is equal to IL plus our shunt field current. So, our shunt field current, VL over RSH. So, ang formula, same ragi hapon, no? VL plus IA, RA plus RSE. So, money ato ang equivalent circuit diagram for DC long shunt. So, combination lang siya sa shunt na na RSE. Huwag ato ang armature winding na nakasiris. So, let's have an example for DC long shunt compound generator. A, a 125 kilowatt, 250 volts long shunt 
compound DC generator has the following winding resistance. So armature 0 0.025 ohm, series field 0 0.01 ohm, shunt field 50 ohms. Its three power loss are at rated voltage and speed is 5 kilowatts. So find the efficiency under this condition. So first we need to write our given. Sa tong problem nagingon siya na atay PL overload power nga 125 kilowatts. And na atay VL nga 250 volts. And na apud dai RSH so RA na to armature current at ta so 0 0.025 ohm and our RSE is 0 0.01 ohms and our RSH is 50 ohms and we have our gingon stray power loss so PS stray we have 5 kilowatts. So, nasulat ni ma'am tanan given, no? So, we need to solve for our efficiency under this condition. So, efficiency will be our unknown. So, giingon man, naka long shunt compound DC generator. So, therefore, if magdraw ta sa tong equivalent circuit, so, naka same sa atuang DC long shunt compound generator. So, na given, kompleto atong given, RA, RSE, RSH, and our VL. So, to solve, we need to solve sa, sa atuang IL. Sa tong load current. IL formula. So, from PL is equal to VL, IL. So, derived na to. Solving for IL. So, PL over VL. So, dapat kabalot ang drive sa itong mga formula. So, 125 kilowatts man. So, 1,000. 125,000 rather. Divided by VL 250. Our load current will be pila man na. 500 ampere. And solving for our shunt current shunt field current so VL over RSH so given na yun na formula VL is 250 and our RSH is 50 ohms ISH our shunt field current will be pilaman 5 amperes so take note for our IA formula IA is equal to IL plus ISH. So, di ka solve og IA if wala tay ISH. So, ISH dapat atong una hog solve. So, IL na to 500. ISH is 5 ampere. So, our armature current will be ilaman 505 amperes. So, naana tay na natay IL, natay ISH, and IA. So, pwede na tayo makasolve for our core, our current, or our copper loss. Okay, naman tayo R, RA plus RSA. So, to solve for our co power copper loss, formula IA squared Multiply sa tong RA, naka-series, plus RSE, plus ISH squared, multiply sa to ang RSH. So, na-solve naman na to, tanan. So, substitute. IA squared is 505 squared. RA na to, 0 0.025, plus RSE, na 0 0.01, plus ISH. 5 squared, RSH na to, 50 
ohms. So, ma-solve na nato ato ang copper loss. So, we have 10.175 kilowatts. So, na nung gisolve pa man nato ang copper loss, ma'am? Since, sa ato ang efficiency nga formula, so, we need our copper loss. So, formula, P out or output power plus copper loss plus P stray nga given. So, our output power will be 125. So, katong 125 kilowatts divided by, so, copy lang, 125 plus 10.175. And our stray loss nga given, which is 5 kilowatts. So, times 100 for efficiency. Our answer, pila man? So, our answer will be 89.17%. So, this will be our final answer for our example sa DC long shunt compound generator. So, after sa long shunt, so, naapot tayo DC short shunt compound generator. So, unsa man eh? This generator is a combination of the shunt and series generators. But our series field winding is connected in series with the load. So sa DC long shunt, so na connect ang atuang RSE sa atuang armature. But in DC short, so ang atuang RSE will be na connect sa RL na to or our series with the load. So we have here our equivalent circuit diagram. So same ra but nabalhin lang no. So formula for IA. So we have here IL plus ISH. And for our ISH we have voltage for our shunt field over RSH. To solve for our voltage in shunt field so, VL plus ILRSE. And for our generated EMF, VSH plus IA and our RA. So, let's have an example for DC short shunt compound generator. A 50 kilowatt, 250 volt short shunt compound generator has the following data. Armature resistance is 0 0.06 ohm. Series field resistance 0 0.04 ohm. And shunt field resistance 125 ohms. Calculate the induced voltage at rated load and terminal. So take 2 volts as the total brush contact drop so giingon no natay given our load power is 50 kilowatt and our VL is 250 volts short shunt compound generator so natay armature resistance RA is 0 0.06 ohm and our field resistance series field resistance we have RSE 0 0.04 ohm our shunt field resistance is 125 ohm and nagingan po siya sa problem so naa daw tay 2 volt our brush contact drop. So we have a, here our VB or our brush. We have 2 volts. So ang pangitaon daw nato is calculate the induced voltage. So therefore our unknown will be our E in our generator. So naka short shunt man no, gagiingon man sa problem short shunt compound generator so dapat ato ang equivalent 
circuit, diagram, so naka short shunt pod. So given, nasulat na nato. So after nito magsulat sa given, we need to draw our equivalent circuit diagram. So again, we need to solve for our IL. So balik-balik rin no, atong formula. So, ingon mo na kung ingon ninyo, familiarize your formula. PL, 50 kilowatts, so 50,000 watts, divided by 250. Our IL will be 200 ampere. And for our VSH, our shunt volt voltage will be VL. Given na na, na formula, no? I-L-R-S-E. So, given atong VL, 250. I-L, 200. Our R-S-E is 0 0.04. So, masolve na to atong VSH will be 258 volts. So, pwede na ta makasolve sa tuang shunt field current. So, ISH, formula na to, on sa to, we have here, VSH divide RSH. So, same rag variable tanan, naka, shunt field. So, substitute, VSH is 258, our RSH is 125. Our shunt field current will be 2.0. 6.4 Ampere. So, na naman tayo shunt field current, pwede na tayo solve sa ito ang IA. Our armature current. IA formula given sa IL plus ISH. Our IL is pila man? 200 na solve na to Plus ISH na 2.064. Our armature current will be 202.064 Ampere. So, na natay IA, pwede na tayo makasolve sa tuang induced voltage or, or E. So, E formula, VSH plus IA multiply sa tong RA but naghatag man siya og brush contact daw so we have V brush so substitute 258 plus IA 202.064 RA na to given pod 0.06 plus 2 volts na brush contract drop so our induced voltage will be Pila man na? 272.12 volts. So, therefore, mawin niya to ang answer for our DC short shunt compound generator. So, ang formula na to, magbalik-balik ra. So, mailhan mo na sa problem kay maghatag siya o hint nga unsa ang compound generator nga to ang gamiton. So, we have here our types of compound generators according to method of compounding the flux. So, first we have cumulative compounded. So, on sa maning cumulative compounded, the series field windings create flux that aids or in the same direction as the shunt field winding flux. So, giingon. Same mga ito ang directions at ang shunt field winding flux. So, for another, we have differential compounded. Samani. The series field windings create flux to opposite the flux created by the shunt field windings. So, ang cumulative is same direction while ang differential is opposite sa tuang flux nga create sa shunt field windings. So, also, we have types of compound generators according to the degree of compounding. So, ganina flux, no? Karon, we have 
degree of compounding. So first, we have flat compound generator. So the terminal voltage at no load and full load voltage are approximately equal. And for our over-compounded generator, the terminal voltage at full load is higher than the terminal voltage at no load. So, sa full load daw, higher kaysa sa tuwang voltage at no load. And for our under-compound generator, the terminal voltage at full load is lower than the no load. So, opposite sa over-compounded, no? So, take note. And for our last topic, for our module number 4. So, for our midterm, we have DC generator with the interpol windings or compensating windings. So, kanina siya interpol or ginatawag na compensating. So, these windings are used to counteract the distortion of the main field flux caused by the phenomenon called armature reaction. So, these windings are connected in series with the armature windings. So, giingon na asyay armature reaction. So, we have here our equivalent DC shunt generator. With a compensating winding. So, mauna ito ang equivalent diagram. So, naalang siya na dugang na resistance of the compensating windings. So, giingon man dapat nakasiris sa armature. So, we have here RA. So, nakasiris ang ato ang compensating windings. So, same ra ang atong equivalent na RSH, RL, VL, and IL. And our generated EMF. So, let's have our example for this topic, DC generator with compensating windings. So, a short shunt compound generator has a shunt field resistance of 770, 77 ohms, rather, a series field resistance of 0 0.008 ohm, a commutating pull winding resistance of 0 0.05 ohm, and an armature resistance of 0 0.02 ohm. When the armature current is 128 amperes, the generated voltage EMF is 234.2 volts. So, solve the power delivered to the load. So, we need to solve. I answer, I write our given first in our problem. Sige, ingon na I shan't feel the resistance. Na 77 ohms. A series field resistance. So, RSE is 0 0.008 ohm. And our commutating pole. So, RC is 0 0.005 ohm. And armature resistance. RA is 0 0.02 ohms. So, when the armature current is IA is 128 ampere. So, the generated voltage EMF is 234.2 volts. So, we need to solve for our power delivered to the load. So, our power load or power delivered will our unknown. First, we need to solve for our VSH. So, ano sa ito yung formula sa itong VSH? VL So, kani? E is equal to VSH plus IARA. Sulat na to. Okay. 
Naman siya ay series, no? Sa ito ang compensating windings. So, therefore, RA plus RC. So, we need to solve for our VSH. So, derive the ano na formula. So, we have E minus transpose na ito ang IA. So, we have RA plus RC. So, substitute given man 234.2 minus IA nga 128. RA na to 0.02 plus RC nga 0 0.005. So, our VSH will be ilaman. 231.2 so, 231 volts. And for our ISH, so, same formula gihapon. VSH divided by RSH. So, given 231. RSH na to, bila to, 77 ohms. So, our ISH is 3 amperes. So, di na to kalimta na tong unit. And for our IL, so IA is equal to IL plus ISH. So, na naman tayo IA, no? So, our unknown will be IL. So, IL derived on a formula. So, IA minus ISH. So, i-transpose ra na to ato ang ISH sa PCAS. Substitute. IA na to, pila man, 128, ISH, 3 amperes. So, our answer will be, our IL is 125 ampere. So, pwede na ta makasolve sa tuang load voltage or our VL. So, VL is equal to VSH minus ILRSE so na naman tayo VSH 231 minus 125 and our RSE is 0 0.008 ohms our load voltage will be 230 volts so pwede na ta makasolve sa ito ang power delivered to the load so PL Equals VL multiplies ito ang IL. So, given ang duha, 230. IL na to 125. So, our power delivered to the load will be calculator 28.75 kilowatts. So, this will be our final answer for our Example sa topic na DC generator with compensating winding. So, I hope nasabtan ra, no? So, very easy lang. Kay balik-balik ra itong formula. So, ang timanan ra na to, ang alahang mga kalahian sa short of long shunt. So, if you have any question, you can comment in our Google Classroom. So, that would be all. Thank you and God bless.